Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some sweet treats from Ethel's Baking Company. We have done uh, two reviews of Ethel's in the past. We found them before, they sell them at Meijer. Um, up in their bakery section, they have like a big refrigerator, a big free, it's a freezer, isn't it? Because yeah, they have frozen ice cream yeah. cakes in there. Uh, but they sell Ethel's there. And so we found, we actually found these at Whole Foods and we were thrilled to find some different flavors that we had not reviewed before because they were such great quality. We were willing to spend the money to try these. So they're pricey. These were actually on sale for $7.99 a piece. Uh, they're you normally, only you only get three. They're normally like $9.99, and I'm thinking when we bought them at Meijer, they were $9.99. So, I mean, that, I think that's just the price, whether you get them at Whole Foods, whether you get them at Meijer, or wherever your grocery store is, I think that's going to be about the price you're going to pay. Um, so, these are the Blondies. And I have the Raspberry Crumble. So, they are, uh, in, they have a plastic seal around the top. And they have the date on the side, so you know how uh, long they're good. And we have had these in the refrigerator. And you get three, but they're thick. A good and size, like brown ones. They, um, the calories on the back are for half. Uh, so it says local eggs and butter made in the USA. Gluten-free dedicated facility. Uh, they are made in Shelby Township, Michigan. www.ethels.com. Half a bar is mm. 190 calories. So it's just in the blonding. Mm -hmm. I love the texture of that. It's got that grainy, like, brown sugary kind of texture mm -hmm. the flavor of blondie is pretty light anyway and that follows suit it's, it's sweet but it's a, it's a light on the flavor mm -hmm. that's one i probably wouldn't spend eight dollars or nine dollars on because it's just the flavors aren't very strong it is um and you know what i think we both knew that going in when we bought it because blondies for us Although we like them, they've never been like, if I were to have a choice between a fudgy chocolatey brownie and a blondie, I'm always going to go for the fudgy yeah, chocolatey the chocolate. brownie over the blondie. Um, so like Kevin said, I agree. It is very sweet and I love the texture, but I wouldn't pay $10 for No, it's yet. just not worth that. Now these on the other hand. They look good. They look delicious. There's layers there. These are the Raspberry Crumble, and they are uh, 160 calories for half the bar. That makes sense because there's a lot going on. My grandma Ethel had a passion for showing love through food, which is what inspired me to create a baking company as unique as she was. Being gluten-free, it was also really important to me that our baked goods could be enjoyed by all without sacrificing taste. Like Ethel, we strive to make every bar by hand with the best local ingredients we can find. We like to say they're perfectly imperfect from the aroma when you open it to the first bite. There's no doubt that our bars are baked with love. And it's Jill Bomarito, I think, <laughs> a founder and Ethel's granddaughter. Okay, is this mine? Mm -hmm. It's good. Look at the raspberry. It's a very strong raspberry. It comes across as even a, a little, like a little sharp, you know, like a little bitter. I didn't get that. You didn't get any bitterness? I did I not. Got like a little sharpness from the. I didn't get a, a very much raspberry flavor. I got a little bit. It wasn't super strong. I no. just more get the sharpness from it more. Than oh. That. Um, no, I get the raspberry, but honestly, there's so much else going on in this bar. See, I get more that of that, whatever that, whatever that stuff is on the top, like that cream. The crumble. Stuff. 
No, the white part. The white part. It looks it's like, it's like, like a, a drizzle. It's like a cream or something, and I get more of that flavor than anything. Um, I do, I do like this, but I'm gonna be honest. I expected the raspberry. I expected more raspberry flavor. Uh, uh, to be stronger for sure. Yeah. And compared to the other ones we've tried, these are not the best. Yes. So we have reviewed. They had. I wish I had looked it up before we started this review. They had like a turtle, which was awesome. And yes, I think uh, the ones that were chocolatey and caramel, like those were the really. Those good were ones. the ones where you want to spend your money mm. because those were um, those were extremely flavorful, very very flavorful, and these are both lighter for me. Out of the two, I definitely would buy the raspberry. Oh, yeah. yeah, no doubt. Because the raspberry, you do get the flavor of the raspberry. It's just lighter mm -hmm. than what I I think I would have liked just a thicker layer of it because I'm a raspberry fanatic. But now, when you said you got sharpness from it, uh, that's just typical raspberry. That's mm -hmm. normal. For any raspberry jam, um, it, it, that is, raspberry is strong like that. That's probably why I like it so much. And it does have seeds. Yes, it does. Have, yes. Because they got little seeds in my teeth. Yes, it does have seeds. So if seeds bother you, then you'll want to um, get the chocolate ones. Yes. <laughs> yes, because uh, truly they are the best anyway. Oh, they were really good. They were wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.